Did you think announcement season was done? Well, think again. While we have all of our houses and scare zones and shows and everything here in Orlando lined up, Hollywood just got four brand new additions coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. I'm talking a brand new IP exclusively coming to Hollywood's event, the two original houses for this year, as well as the theme for the Terror Tram. I wanted to break down all of this information for you all and talk about what's new as well as talk about what we already kind of knew for Hollywood. So without further ado, we got a lot to talk about, so let's just hop right into it. Now I first want to dive into the five big items. IP houses that are shared by both coasts. I know I've talked about them already in the Orlando videos, but I did want to mention them for this one just to recap. We first have Chucky located in Curious George Tent 1, aka the Scarecrow location from last year. This is going to be based on the sci-fi show with a little twist as Chucky's going to sort of be taking over this house and breaking the fourth wall in a bunch of different places. Next we have The Last of Us, which is going to be located in the Mummy location where Legends Collide was last year. This is going to be based on the Naughty Dog video game of the same name, following Joel and Ellie as they navigate a landscape full of the infected. We have, of course, Stranger Things 4, which is going to be located in Soundstage 15, based on the fourth season of the hit Netflix show Stranger Things. We also have The Exorcist Believer, which is going to be located in Soundstage 22. This is based on the 2023 Exorcist remake movie. And finally, we have Universal Monsters Unmasked, which will be located in Curious George Tent 2, aka the Halloween location from last year. This house will find you roaming through the Paris catacombs and being terrorized by the Phantom of the Opera, Invisible Man, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, as well as the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Again, all of those houses we knew already, but we've since learned about the rest of the houses coming to this year's Halloween Horror Nights, and to kick those off, I wanted to talk about a house that announced a couple weeks ago back at Midsummer Scream that has just now appeared on the website. An original house named Monstros Monsters of Latin America. This is going to be located in the Parisian Courier location, and it's going to feature a mausoleum-style facade, which you can see while you're in the park right now. In the description on the Universal Studios Hollywood website, reads as follows. Ten cuidado. With La Muerte as your guide, you and your Scream Squad must try to survive three terrifying legends. The blood-sucking Tlaeopuchi, Owlface Witch La Lechuza, and bone-ripping El Silon. So yeah, this house is going to be following three monsters from Latin American folklore, as well as a brand new character who will be leading you through the house. And at Midsummer Scream, we also got a little more detail as to how these characters are designed, as well as the settings they exist in. We begin with Tlaeopuchi, who are vampire witches that have a very unique ritual that will be featured in the house. We then move to La Lechuza, who is a witch who can almost shapeshift into an owl type creature. And she's also supposed to have a very dynamic scene with this giant moving figure, almost animatronic style figure, inside her nest of bones. Finally, we move to El Simon, who is a tall man burdened with the pain of his past, carrying around his father's bones in a sack that we will be exploring in the house. He preys on womanizers and drunks, and we see that through the Poqueria massacre scene in in this house and what i think is creepiest of all his presence is known through a whistle which depending on its volume determines his proximity to you so i'm sure they're going to be utilizing that in this house as well and honestly i really really love this concept at midsummer scream murdy talked about their history with latin american themed houses of course with la llorona and el cucuy so i think it's really interesting that they keep diving into latin american folklore and i like that these are monsters that maybe we've seen in the past maybe in a scare zone or something but we haven't really seen them in their own house. I know I wasn't super familiar with these specific characters other than La Lechuza because it was rumored for so long. So I'm excited to see that they're really diving into the lore here, going deep into the detail and the history of it all, but also adding their own spin with La Muerte and of course just the creative take that Universal always does with these original houses. This is one I know a lot, a lot of people are excited for. I feel like this is going to be some people's most hyped of the year and I'm very, very curious to see how this is going to pan out. However, like many of these Peru Parisian courtyard houses, they lead directly into a scare zone. And again, at Midsummer Scream, this scare zone was confirmed to be El Terror de la Momias. This is going to be based on two sort of concepts. 
you have on one hand the 1950s Mexican mummy horror films, which I think is a really, really niche thing to operate in, but also really cool, as well as it ties into the Monstro's house as you're tying in the character of Muerte, digging up these Aztec mummy warriors and their leader, the Skeleton Queen. So again, there's obviously some very clear source material influence here, an influence that's very, very stylistic, but also they're adding something new and tying it in to the lore that they've created themselves, which is really, really cool. I can't wait to see how the story sort of connects both in the house and the scare zone. But enough with Midsummer Scream, that's in the past. What did we get announced this week? Well, first up, we have our final IP for this event, Evil Dead Rise. This is going to be located in the former Walking Dead attraction, and the website description reads, An ancient curse rises in a new setting, an LA apartment building. The Book of the Dead is about to unleash unimaginable horrors on you and your Scream Squad. Evil has come home. So yeah, Evil Dead Rise confirmed to be going to Universal Studios Hollywood. This was speculated for a little while. Of course, last year we had Horror Hotel in this location that had some very clear influences from Evil Dead Rise, but I'm happy to see this officially confirmed as finally we're getting Evil Dead Rise in this location. I'm sure a lot of the set pieces are going to be reused or repurposed, I should say, creating that LA apartment feel uh, where they previously had the hotel. I'm really interested in the gore factor. They can really play it up with this house as Evil Dead Rise had that, you know, comically over the top gore, uh, but also pretty scary gore uh, that was featured in the Evil Dead franchise. And I mean, I really liked Evil Dead Rise. I would like to see this house come to Orlando, but I'm happy it's coming to Hollywood. Maybe in the future, we can get it over here in Orlando, uh, but for now, I'm excited to see this. But I mean, it kind of balances out because our final house over here in Hollywood is Holidays in Hell. This is a returning house from 2019, located in the T-Pad location, aka where Killer Clowns was last year. And the description reads, from New Year's Eve to Thanksgiving, your favorite holidays to celebrate with your friends are going to hell. Tis the season to scream in this holiday nightmare. The scarier, the merrier. So from what I understand, this is going to be pretty much just the repeat house from 2019. I'm curious to see what other little changes they might add. Maybe they'll add some different holidays in between, or maybe this will just be the exact same house from 2019. I mean, they've done this before with Pandora's Box, notably in 2021, which was also featured in 2019. So holidays in hell, it's pretty familiar. I don't think this is going to blow anyone's minds that didn't already love the 2019 house, but nonetheless, a fun addition to this year's lineup. Up. But even as an Orlando guy, I know the houses aren't everything. And one of the main attractions for Universal Studios Hollywood's Halloween Horror Nights in recent years has been the Terror Tram. And this year we're getting a really, really cool theme for the Terror Tram titled Terror Tram The Exterminators. The description reads, Terror Tram is back, and this time the bugs are taking over. Tour guide Larry Larva and his bug-headed exterminators are out to get rid of human pests once and for all. You'll be dropping like flies. So if the Exterminator's name sounds familiar to you. It was actually a 2015 scare zone, but I had a very, very different take as this Terror Tram's going to. Larry Larva, this new character, is kind of dethroning the Rat Catcher as the head of the Exterminator's group. And if you can tell from the description, these are basically bug creatures that hunt down humans. And I think this is super, super interesting because of course we had bugs eaten alive here in Orlando last year, which was really a fan favorite from last year's event. And you can see some of the aesthetics transferring over into this new Exterminator's attraction. It does seem to carry over the campiness of Bugs Eaten Alive, at least the over-the-top quality, but it's not all laughs here, as there are some genuinely scary moments in the little teaser they gave us, and I'm expecting there to be that signature Hollywood scariness added to this experience. I think it's really cool that we're getting a new original character for Hollywood. I know they don't get them as often as we do here in Orlando. While I think Hollywood Harry is really, really fun, it's bringing something new to the table for this attraction. And I like that this Terror Tram is not just themed off of the IP. Of course, you have the IP. They did mention that you will go to the Jupiter's Claim sets like you were able to last year. I think this will be really, really cool. I think they can really play it up and create a really, really great Terror Tram experience that will be remembered for years to come. And that's it. All of the houses for Halloween Horn in Hollywood confirmed. We have the Terror Tram confirmed. We're still waiting on a couple scare zones and a show, uh, but this is going to be the main lineup. I'm not a Hollywood guy, and I'm unfortunately not going to be able to go to Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood this year, but I feel bad I never talk about Hollywood on the channel, so I did want to make a video like this breaking everything down like I did over in Orlando. Let me know in the comments what do you think of these announcements. Are you excited to see Evil Dead? Are you excited to see Monsters? I really, really am excited about that 
one. Are you excited to ride the Terror Tram and experience the Exterminators? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, like Halloween Horror Nights history updates, news and construction and vlogs from the Orlando side, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I got a really, really big month worth of videos here. So I hope y'all are ready for what's about to happen on this channel. There's a lot that's about to go down. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.